It is my pleasure tonight to introduce tonight's Corby Award winner, Major General Michael Dunlavy. I, I want to thank the Alumni Association. I want to thank my good friends who uh, were behind this. I also have to clarify that uh, I'm not in the U.S. Air Force, although I had my best two years of my 40 years in the Army with the Air Force at Ramstein. Uh, I don't know how to say humble uh, because it just does not carry through uh, how I feel about this. Ironically, I was at Gettysburg uh, right before our 50th class reunion this year and got on the uh, statue base with Father Corby and had a picture taken. And then I get the phone call. Uh, that was a little scary. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, I come out of the intelligence world and we do listen to what you have to say. Uh, but I'm supposed to be the one listening. <laughs> but I, I really um, want to share this with all of my classmates, actually all of our Notre Dame graduates, because the Corby Award, if you haven't seen it, uh, the Corby statue, it's just down the road from the Pennsylvania Monument. and it really represents the epitome of Notre Dame. Um, it is God country in Notre Dame. But we were just, just talking tonight that we finally recovered one of my classmates, Joe Smith, whose plane went down uh, in Laos during the Vietnam War. Uh, we have quite a few more that uh, we've tried to find. Uh, but I've always been proud to be from Notre Dame. And it's, I, I, you know, we have ring knockers, we call ring knockers the guys from West Point and the Air Force Academy and the Naval Academy. Well, we have ring knockers too. <laughs> There's been no place I've ever been that I didn't run into uh, a Notre Dame graduate. And the door has always been open. And the brotherhood and sisterhood that we have is so special. But this moment for me, uh, what can I say? Even the Coast Guard is represented tonight. <laughs> and uh, we, we were, class of 67, pretty special. Uh, we paid a pretty steep price with the number of KIAs. As I pointed out, that uh, Kevin Burke and Pat Dixon were classmates. And because of our alphabet, we were not only in the same infantry officer basic class, we were in the same squad in that class. And we were going to be a band of brothers. We were going to stick with each other, go to Airborne and Ranger School together. And, uh, and we were all honor graduates of that class, which there were 150 young lieutenants. And it wasn't to be. Uh, as the Major explained to me, son, you've got to remember the needs of the Army trump everything. And we went off in different ways. And unfortunately, uh, Kevin and Pat died trying to save their soldiers. And they each were awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for what they gave. And it's nice to know that Joe finally came home, Joe Smith, because that was 40 years of searching, because we don't leave anybody behind. But to be here tonight in front of you and tomorrow and have my family with me um, what can you say? I just say thank you very much uh, for recognizing what I considered my duty. I never expected it. I don't deserve it. But here we are. So thank you. Good night.